Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. You are listening to The Brilliance Business Show, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pula, and we have an incredible guest today, Gwen Leopard. Gwen is a best-selling author, and our topic today is Unshackle and Get Freedom. So a great, great topic to dig into. Gwen, welcome to the Brilliance Business Show. Thank you so much, Mark. I'm, I'm just thrilled to be here. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today, Gwen. Before I get started, I just need to make a legal disclaimer that Gwen is not offering legal advice or legal assistance. So let's get started with the show. Gwen, can you share a little bit about yourself and what you do in business? Absolutely. Um, July 31st, 2009. After years of verbally whipping me, my former husband did it for real. And this was because, as he put it, I had done a stupid thing, which was put laundry in the wash. And it was the day that I began my journey back to myself because I had spent 10 years in verbal, emotional, narcissistic abuse with so much gaslighting, and I'd never even heard of the term. And so that was the day that that ended. And it led me years later to work with empaths, those that feel other people's feelings and actually can even take on their physical symptoms. And so I help them and empower them to evolve beyond their limitations and beyond the, the years of abuse or even, can I, lifetimes of abuse. I hear you. Thank you for sharing that, Gwen, because it does go on and especially through this pandemic, I know that it has caused a lot of people to go through trauma and abuse in their homes, being locked up with abusive partners. And I do understand narcissism a lot from being around narcissists and having relationships myself. And so, like you mentioned, there's things like gaslighting, mirroring, there's so many different terms, but when you start to research them, it really makes sense to you because when you're going, going through abuse, you don't really know what's happening to you. And I'm just trying to think of a few more terms. I know gaslighting is one. They mirror you as well. They just do so many things that really mess with your mind. So it's great, great work that you are doing, Gwen. And I would like to know a little bit about the clients and customers that you serve. Absolutely. So in, in a word, and we've already mentioned it, empaths. And sometimes they're, and, and that's why gaslighting is so um insidious with an empath because they're already questioning what they're feeling. And then a narcissist will say, no, that's not true. You're not feeling that when they might be feeling the, the baby next door that has an earache, they might be feeling their partner's fear because they've lost their job and they're afraid to talk to, to them about it. They're, they might feel somebody three doors down or across the country that that is having trauma and and that you know is being beaten in their home and that, so they're being told you don't feel these things and yet they do and that's why empaths need alone time time in nature to recharge and i especially help those that have been the victims of narcissistic abuse and and those individuals that have tried many things to get over relationship or relationship baggage um and they find themselves in repeating relationship patterns. It's like you 
married your mother or your father who was a narcissist and then um, your business partner is and then you know your friends are and and you can't get out of this pattern and so those are the the, the clients that I, I help the most. Yes and like you mentioned <laughs> excuse me like you mentioned it's such an interesting topic I could talk for hours about this <laughs> Gwen and once you have been through it, it takes a very, very long time to get over and it causes post-traumatic stress. It's, I felt awful after I had been through it. It literally knocks you off your feet. You can't eat, you get stressed, you spend hours in bed. And when yep. you start studying it, you realise that it's quite, there's a lot of narcissists around, especially in the business world as well. So it's knowing how to be able to react to narcissists and not giving them your power because yep. it's so easy to run after them, especially in relationships, because they like to dangle the carrot and you're there running after it and you never quite reach the carrot. And it is all games. It's like they have a magic toolkit and they just use those tricks over and over again. And when you're educated and when people like you can support people suffering with this, it really is you get stronger and realise how to control your own emotions and not be controlled by someone else, which is really, really powerful. But it takes a lot of inside work when to it get over these situations. It took me over a, a year and it was yep. constantly on my mind. So I really commend the work that you are doing. It's really, really needed and not people not many people understand it that's the problem when you just say oh he's a narcissist they don't really understand the trauma that it causes it makes you ill so I really do respect the work that you are doing now I want to know when what really motivates you to jump out of bed every single morning you know Mark, actually, I like, I quite like to stay in bed first thing. And that's when I make sure that I get self-care. Uh, I start the day out right with stretching, gratitude, and water, and clearing and grounding meditations. Because if I just jump into my day, which I have done in the past, hours can go by, and I haven't eaten, and I haven't drank water. And yes. so, But if you're asking what inspires me, it's helping empaths clear the relationship residue that can limit them in all areas of their life. And even more inspiring and motivating is teaching empaths. And I have so many tools that, because I was under a fog for a year and a half coming out of that narcissistic relationship. And I allowed myself to get into another one because of the repeat yes. that I was holding in my energy field. So the work that I do is actually within the energy field. So I now have tools like gaslighting gone so that you can recover faster and an elevator, um, an energy elevator that allows you to protect your energy so that I, I want people to recover faster than you and I did. Yes. And that's, that's, that's what really inspires me. That's a great reason to get out of bed, Gwen. It's, yes, I wished I was more educated. And you mentioned a great point, actually, that you attract it. I attracted more than one narcissist. It's like you have to learn those lessons sometimes and really find your inner power and self-worth. And the fact that you're supporting people to do it quicker, it's so, so important, which is actually a great 
way to ask you this next question because I think that will be one of the points. I want to know what sets your business apart and what unique needs you are filling for your clients. So I'm training empaths to make empathy their expertise. And that way they can get paid to do what they do naturally, which is feel other people's feelings and, 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 and be caring. So I'm a guide by the side because I'm always doing my own work. So I can bring that to my clients and to the students of the Leopard Method, which is where I've taken over 35 years of training, experience, hands-on practice, and combined a tool shed of different tools into a method that I'm now teaching other empaths so they can make a difference in the world, so they can help more people because I'm only one person. And at some point, I'll have them teaching it as well so that more and more empaths can be empowered and have the tools in their hands quicker when they realize, oh my gosh, this guy that I'm with or this woman that I'm with is a narcissist. And I just, it was, it's time for me to be the leader supporting my own tribe. And that's, I think is part of what sets me apart in business and, and the needs that I'm filling for my, my, my clients. And you're really changing the lives of people that are suffering. Why is your service especially important in today's modern world? Yeah, so many, Mark, so many are struggling under a huge load of old obligations that are shackling them to beliefs that aren't even valid in today's world. And, and as you mentioned earlier, there are Empaths. There's there are people stuck in a home still with someone who is an abuser and they can't get out, or they're being bullied. And you understand this: uh, one out of five students has reported being bullies, bullied. Also, in the world, one out of five is a narcissist, and we have twenty percent that are empaths. Again, one out of five that are empaths, and I don't believe that this is a mistake. I, I, there is this dance of disempowerment between narcissists, which all, not all bullies are narcissists, but all narcissists are bullies. Yes. They might be a clever and, and charismatic leader, but the person at home is being bullied. And energy bullies are the, are the ones that um, I'm, I'm helping empower empaths and, and anybody else that wants to be empowered to get beyond what, um, to, to basically diffuse energy energy bullies in in the workplace at, at the schoolyard in um, in in relationships wherever you're encountering an energy bully which is anybody that steals your energy and nice. with with a word or with with actions and what I believe more than anything is that the more empowered empaths we have the more compassion there will be in the world so the less narcissists will have the need to act out because empowered empaths create compassion. Empowered empaths create compassion. And I think that's really important in today's world. It certainly is. We need as much compassion in the world as possible. And like you mentioned, they are energy vampires. They've got no self-awareness, no conscience, no feelings of guilt and even if they do feel it they ignore it anyway and this can be really really damaging and it's like you are addicted to them and I agree I'm an ex-drug addict and it is worse than getting off drugs that yeah that connection is really, really hard to break. You feel guilty. You can't stop thinking about them, even though they have treated you like dirt. Honestly, I am so into this topic, Gwen. I'm so glad to have you on the show. Can you share a few more details on the kind of services and products that you do offer your clients? Absolutely, Mark. And I, and I just want to say that I really feel how much this, this means to you and, and, and can feel your experiences that, you, that you've had. So I just I want to thank you for, for sharing your part and in how, what this has played a part in your life, how it's played a part in your life. Yes. 
I believe you have to share to serve others. I am over it now, but it was a hard journey. So I totally know that the people suffering from narcissistic abuse need education. They need to hear. They need to feel community. And let's hope we can get this message far and wide, Gwen. Absolutely. So I wanted to ask, um, answer your question about um, the services, products that I that I offer. So, so yes, I can share. <laughs> yes, 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 I can, Mark. Um, I work with one-on-one clients in packages um, to give them a, a fast track to freedom, or to deepen in and master that freedom. So I, I work with um, in like seven week, ninety days, six months, and then. Um, that it helps them get past um, the past and their limitations. And I have a number of online classes. So if people want to just get to know me and they want to try out one of my online classes and do it at their own pace, um, I have uh, I have one that gives you liberation from shackles, shackle liberation. I have an empowerment one for empaths, the empowered empath evolution. And I have one that that was a response to what's going on in the world now with, with uh, the, the pandemic, which is raise your vibrations to remove FUD, which is fear uncertainty and doubt. And there's so much of that in the world. And if we can raise our vibration, those negative people just, they, they kind of fall away. If if you can keep your vibration raised at a level, a narcissist is is just going to, they're going to go, you're, you're no, you're more work than, than I want to put in. So they'll just move away from you. And, and like I said, all these can be done at your own pace. And then currently the thing that is, excites me the most to get out of bed is I'm teaching a 12 month transformation facilitator training in the leopard method. And that's to help empaths make empathy, their expertise. So they get paid to do what they do naturally. And this is our second month. And on Wednesday, they get to start building their own packages. Uh, And so I'm super excited about helping them get out into the world and start helping more people that have suffered abuse or narcissism or just are empaths and don't even know that they're empaths. Yes. You mentioned a great point there, actually, and I'll touch on that a little bit. Once you raise your vibration, you can spot narcissists straight away. You spot the red flags. Oh, yeah. And so you don't even want anything to do with them, but you repel them because you are shining. They can see that they can't pull you down to their level, which is a great, great place to be, Gwen. Now, I know you have all sorts of client success stories. I just want you to pick one that really stands out to you. And I'm definitely going to do that in just a moment. But I also wanted to, to share that I also have a, a free spray that's raise your raise your vibration spray. And and they they people had asked me to make a narcissist repellent, and I just couldn't come from that angle. And then I got to the place where I created a raise your vibration spray, and it's free. You can get it just from your email address and name. And and I you and it's online. It's a video, and then you can charge water with it. And I used it and somebody who I suspected was a narcissist was like, oh, that smells so gross. What are you using? I'm like, oh my gosh, narcissist. So I have that available too if somebody <laughs> you know just wants to try out my free Razor Vibration Spray. So we have that as well. But success stories, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Oh my gosh. She came to me like four years ago and I, we worked together for almost two years. She was literally suicidal and she'll tell you this herself. She was suicidal before we started working together. And then she started seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And then she had the best day um, on her, um, her son's birthday. She and, and, her, and um, her son's father were able to get together and have their best day ever. And then she came, she came, this is, you know, back when we could see each other in person, she came to see me and she's sitting on my couch, not that kind of couch, but on my couch. And she's looking at my wall of certifications and she's going, I could never do what you do. You just have to be looking for clients all the time. Fast forward, we wrap up 
and she goes out and she she starts studying coaching. <laughs> Amazing. She studied with, with um, Oprah's coach and she studied with some other coaches. And, and she's like, one day she's thinking, oh my gosh, I just wish I could do what Gwen does and add that to all these things that I've learned. And a couple of days later, I called her and said, hey, I'm teaching this certification program on the Leopard Method. What do you think? And she said yes, without knowing anything other than that. So she's one of my star pupils. She's one of my Jedis. And, and I'm so excited because she, she is going to combine what she knows with what I know, and she's going to be making a big difference in the world. And that is just, you know, from suicidal to making a difference, to suicidal to I could never do what you do, to she's going to go beyond me. I know she will. She's just amazing. I love a client success story, Gwen. And like you mentioned, sometimes when we go through these experiences, we do come out brighter at the end. I know it sent me on a whole new path to what I'm doing today. And like you mentioned, she is going to make such an impact in the world and we can really help others through the trauma that we have been through. Now, I want to talk now about navigating the clickety clack. You have just been featured and co-authored Navigating the Clickety Clack. It has other co-authors, including Marie Diamond, Joe Vitale, Keith Leon, Adam Markle and many, many other amazing co-authors. Tell us a little bit about the book, Gwen. Oh, this book is amazing. It has, like, like you say, so many different different authors and, and each person has these words of wisdom and, and shares their, their story, their, their, their piece that, uh, where they were in the clickety clack and how they came out of it. And, and I know that, um, I, I actually shared a, a point in time where I was getting so much success that it was, that it was too much. And then I, I had to ask for help. And that was actually a really, um, that was kind of a pivotal point where the gears kind of clicked in. It's like, oh, you don't do this alone. You do it together because, you know, one gear, you know, you can only go so far. You, you actually can't ride a bike with one gear. You have yes. to have two, at least two gears to actually make the bike go. And, and when you have a 10 speed and you've got all these other gears and I've, I've fallen off of a 10 speed more than once yes. in, in my clickety clack moments. And so it was just, it was so fun to be part of this. Uh, Joe Vitale, I, I have a blue bottle of water right here as, uh, as we're, as we're chatting. Um, I've been drinking solar blue water since zero limits. So Joe Vitale has been um, a mentor of sorts through, you know, his writings and, and programs for years. So I was really excited to be part of it and to be able to share some pieces of what really works for me about being in your body. And so often we, we're not even aware that we're in the position of depression and all it takes is getting our body into a position of confidence and joy. And all of a sudden we have that emotion. You can change your state through your body and some ways of processing fears and emotions because as empaths, you know, we process emotions through our bodies and and, and also a tool that that allows people to write out their fears and then rip them up, tear them up, and they're free. Uh, so it was it was really um, life changing to be part of this group and be part of the launch party and and all of these amazing amazing authors and listening to everything that they shared and all they've been through. It's it's life changing. It is, and there's so much value from each different co-author in yes. the book. I would highly recommend all our listeners to get a copy of Navigating the Clickety Clack Volume 2. It's available on Amazon. Gwen, I have really, really enjoyed our conversation today. Is there anything we did not cover that you would like to share? Hmm. Well, did I answer all of your questions, Mark? Or is there something else that you'd like to know? We have answered all my questions today. 
I would just like to ask you, what is next for Gwen? What are you working on right now? So right now, more clients in the Leopard Method Certification Program and more podcasts and interviews like this. Well, it's a great, great time to be seen, noticed, unheard on radio. You're making waves in the world. You're supporting people that really, really need that lift up in life. They need to find that inner light that has been dampened down by abusive situations. Gwen, I really admire you. I admire the work you're doing. Thank you so much for being on the Brilliance Business Show. My last question, actually, how can our listeners get a hold of you, Gwen? And if there is anyone out there suffering at the moment, go to Gwen. She knows how to make you heal from narcissistic abuse a lot, lot faster and not having to suffer alone. So tell our audience how they can get a hold of you. The best place is GwenLeopard.com. That's Gwen, G-W-E-N, Leopard, like the big cat, but without the O, L-E-P-A-R-D.com. GwenLeopard.com is the best way to find a wealth of information about me and I'm and even get on my calendar. Gwen, thank you so, so much for being on the Brilliance Business Show. It's a pleasure to have a great conversation with you. Same here, Mark. You have been listening to the Brilliance Business Show, conversations with leading experts in business. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.